My name's uh, Flight Lieutenant Dave Murphy, uh, nicknamed Murph. Uh, I'm a ACO on the F-18F Super Hornet. I guess when I joined, I had uh, I had no flying experience. I had barely even been on a like an airliner. You know, I haven't I hadn't travelled a heap or anything like that. And obviously, they taught me everything I needed to know. So it it wasn't a requirement to have any flying experience. And I joined as a direct entry officer, which meant I uh, I didn't go through the Defence Force Academy or I didn't have to have a degree. I just uh, joined directly out of uh, civilian life, and then. I went to officer training school, so OTS, at, which is at RAF Base East Sale. And then after that, as an ACO, you stay at RAF Base East Sale down in Victoria and you do your uh, ACO training. As an ACO, we all do common ACO training. Uh, we all do the same kind of baseline training and then we get streamed. I got streamed to fly the Super Hornet and was uh, lucky enough to come and fly this aircraft. Big picture is the ACO and the Super Hornet's my job to just use all the sensors and capabilities and weapons on the aircraft to ensure our mission success. For example, in a maritime strike mission, I would be using the, uh, the radar in the front of the aircraft to locate the ship, but then from there I can transition into using the infrared targeting pod so I can get a visual ID on that ship to make sure it is in fact the ship that we're trying to target. And from there, once I've confirmed that, then it's a matter of uh, basically releasing the weapon and uh, using that same infrared targeting pod, guiding that weapon in using the laser. So I was lucky enough to go over to the United States and train with the uh, United States Navy on the Super Hornet. So uh, I spent a bit over a year there training with the Navy and uh, also instructing uh, their Navy students as well. And uh, basically just gaining ex more experience and time on the jet uh, before we brought our first batch of our own jets back here to Australia. So that was an awesome opportunity for myself and my family and uh, something that I'll never forget. I love the, uh, the opportunity to fly a uh, modern jet fighter like this. I, uh, I love the opportunity that I get to travel the world, I get to serve my country, and along the way I make great mates that are, that are my mates for, like, for life, so, uh, so that's, a, that's an awesome benefit as well. Quite a long process, but the whole time you're learning, you're improving, and you're learning the skills that you need. No two days or no two missions are the same. Everything changes, you learn something new every time you go flying and that improves you professionally. That makes you a better ACO and makes you, gives you the ability to handle those situations. Make no mistake though, people see the glamorous side of what we do and when you're doing a, a fly pass or something like that. But in reality, what, we're what we train to do every single day is uh, to be able to go to war and do our job if the government needs us to do it.